Well, welcome back to GIS analysis at the University of Alaska Fairbanks. From last time, we created two layers of test lines using the Create Fishnet tool. In this session, we're going to decompose our lines to points and then rebuild our lines by connecting the points. So first, let's merge these two layers into one layer using the Merge Geoprocessing tool. So we're going to merge our test lines with test lines 2, and we'll output it to a new feature class called Merge Lines. And then we don't really need this test lines ID, so let's just say we don't want that, so we'll just click on this little X button. And then OK to execute the geoprocessing tool. So the result are our merged lines. So let's remove our original lines from our data frame. So right mouse click and remove. Now what we want to do is we've got our lines and there's eight of them, we want to take the points that their lines are composed of, the beginning node, ending node, and any intermediate vertexes, and convert those into a point feature class. So to do that, search for vertices. So lines are composed of vertices. Plural, a singular would be a vertex. So feature vertices to points is what we're gonna use. Take our merge lines and output to test points. And then you as a user have an option. You can output all the points or the middle of each line, the starting point of each line, the ending point of each line, both ends, or dangle. So a dangling node would be a node that's not connected. So for example, the end of a line that's not connected to another line is considering a dangling node. So let's output all points. So the result are all the points that all those lines were composed of. So here were our original lines, and then these are the points that the lines are composed of. Now let's say we start with points, and from our points we want to connect the dots to create lines. We can connect the dots using a geoprocessing tool, points to line. So take our test points, and we'll create a new output feature class called test lines 3. And let's just say OK and see what happens. So what it did was it connected the points in the order they are in the point attribute table. So if we look at our point attribute table, let me change the color of this to a black color. All it did was it went to the first point and then connected our line to the next point, to the next point, to the next point, etc. And the result was one polyline. So that's all one continuous line. That's not exactly what we want. So from the results, if we pull up points lines, this time let's tell it a line field. So use the original feature ID, and if the original feature ID is the same, connect the points. So for every point that has the same feature ID, connect them to create a line, and then just OK. OK, so I forgot to clear my selection. So let me clear my selection and rerun this tool. So now if I look at the output, I've got eight lines. So it connected them exactly the way we wanted them. Okay, what happens if we run the tool and choose close line? So the output here I will call test lines closed and I check on close line we get the identical output. And the reason was we did it that the points had to have identical feature ID values in order to make that line. So for example, when we started, these two points had the identical feature ID, so that made one line. 
So if we want to make a line representing each square, we could change our feature ID for the lines that the square is composed of. So for example, for these four points, let's calculate them to have the same feature ID. So I'll give them a feature ID of one, and then we could rerun our tool. So now we have for that line where these all had the same feature ID value, it's closed and it is now representing that one line representing sort of the outline of the square.